Hey Luke, so I'm looking at your uh, your spreadsheet. First of all, sorry, you know, in class it's sometimes hard for me to focus on these things because there's a lot of different stuff going on. Um, but so here I'm in your, uh, you know, your shared version. I think it's not shared with me or something. I, these aren't actual charts that I can access. But in class I downloaded it and there was, I don't know, I just, I just didn't see this. First of all, I can't um, access actually where you're getting this. Let me show you. Um, if I go actually edit this um, and try to find this data, it's back on that sheet, I guess. It's, you know, it's on SharePoint or something. So, um, which is, I think, how we access OneDrive it's on Stevens. Anyway, but I can see what's going on if we just look at these two things. So, in this chart, um, for example, a Oiler Johnson, a four inch long piece is going to have a ferry load of about 125 pounds, right? Over here, an eight inch, so we doubled it, is going to have 125 pounds. That's not correct. So these, these are not the actual theoretical calculations. Um, you just shifted everything over to make it. So I hope that's, clear. you know, so you just, you just shifted the chart over so that something that's eight twice as long has the same load. A member that's twice as long has the same failure load. Um, it's just clear not what we want. Um, what we need to do is create. So here's my, the one I've been showing you. Um, and so it, and it's kind of obvious once you think about it, but I mean, I just understand how this is confusing. So I'm going to adjust these. I'm going to double the length of these. Um, right now, we're this is the universe that we were in. You know, um, the the length universe we were in before. So I'm just going to do, let's see how I do this. So now nothing changed, right? Our of course, our four inches still this has this, the same strength. Um, but the but the area that you're now dealing with in terms of failing members is going off the chart. And so the Johnson's is not going to change either. So essentially what this is going to do, if you double the size, of your, um, you go from 15 inches to 30 inches for the width of your truss. Um, you're just going to send more things into the Johns, into the Euler, more members into the Euler range. So you can change the, right. So now if we look at eight, um, we're at, you know, 60 pounds or something. I think what was the one that we were talking about yesterday in your chart? Um, eight is 32. Let's go see if that seems to make any sense. It seems... Yeah, okay, now that would be like 32, right? Here's 50, 32. So now this is correct, and if we then um, show the other data, um, I think that this, we could say that this trend line's the same, it's just that we don't have anything, um, any data down in the area that we're actually using now. I guess we can still extrapolate it because it's just conceptual, um, but now it should work that if you put in... Um, Links, you know, and in, in that are like, in other words, we actually put eight inches into this this uh, equation. It should be that it's going to be way up here somewhere, right? Like seventy five or something like that. If not, then there's something wrong with how you um, um, just input this equation. All right, so this, that's the thing I'll, I'll do on this because I think that's a clear answer. If that's not, then we can go to the next step. But I understand what's just going on now. Um, hope this helps.